Will Kris Jenner be the one to finally talk some sense into Chloe and Tristan Thompson? Tristan has been exposed for cheating on Chloe multiple times, most recently by Instagram model Sydney Chase, who claims she's hooked up with Tristan on several occasions since November. But Chloe still hasn't addressed the new cheating rumors directly, and since she's already turned a blind eye to Tristan's cheating more times than we can count, the fans think she might do it again. And this is why the Kardashian matriarch has decided to take matters into her own hands. So how did Chris react to Tristan cheating on Chloe again? We'll tell you all about it in a second, but before that, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any breaking celeb news. Up until now, Chris never really spoke badly about Tristan in public, and it seemed like she was actually rooting for him and Chloe to get back together. During the last year's season 19 finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Tristan approached Chris to discuss how he changed and matured since the Jordan Woods scandal, and it really looked like Chris had forgiven him. It was apparently Chloe's BFF, Malika Hack, who encouraged Tristan to reach out to Chris and told him he should apologize. During an on camera conversation, Tristan told Malika that losing Chloe made him lose a part of himself and added, I was going down a path that was not who I wanted to be. Malika then replied that the toughest part for her was knowing that she was the one who took Chloe to Cleveland and gave Chris her word that she was going to protect her daughter. Tristan then added, That kills me the most. You look someone in the eyes, someone you respect and have high regards for, and you let them down. Later in the episode, Tristan was shown having a one on one conversation with Chris and apologizing for hurting Chloe. I remember you telling me, That's my baby girl, that's my bunny, Tristan told Chris. So when I hurt her with all the actions I did, it really affected me a lot because I know how much I let you down and our relationship because you viewed me as a son. Chris replied, when you hurt her, you hurt me. You hurt all of us. However, the Kardashian matriarch also said that at the end of the day, she just wants Chloe to be happy. The bottom line is we just want her to be happy and we want you to be happy and we want you to be happy as a family and we want True to be happy, Chris said. Later, during her confessional, Chris claimed she was confident that Tristan had changed, and it seemed like she was ready to welcome him back to the family. Tristan and I have always had a really close relationship, Chris said. All the mending and healing that has gone on has made me feel good about him as a person. Around this time, Chloe was apparently still on the fence about taking Tristan back. However, just months later, it was reported that she decided to give him another chance. In October 2020, a source close to the Kardashians told People magazine that everything is great between Chloe and Tristan and revealed that the pair was still living together in Los Angeles. This source also explained that Chloe is very impressed with how Tristan has stepped up and added, their focus is true and they keep doing fun family activities together. Chloe really believes that things will continue to be great even after Tristan has to return to work. A separate source then told Us Weekly that Tristan wants to prove to Chloe that he has changed and wants to make this permanent with a family home. But what shocked the fans even more was when Chloe revealed she was planning on having another baby with Tristan. While both Chloe and Tristan were still keeping quiet about their official relationship status at this point, Chloe confirmed she had decided to have another child with Tristan. However, the reality star also said that getting pregnant for the second time is a real struggle. On a recent episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe talked to Kim about her fertility issues and revealed the doctors had told her she would have a high-risk pregnancy if she chose to carry her second baby. Chloe said that most likely she won't be able to carry and explained that she and Tristan will not be conceiving the natural way. The reality star then praised Tristan for making an effort to change and said, He's an incredible father. He loves his daughter and son so, so much. And for the past year, I've seen so much growth and so much change in Tristan, which I'm so grateful for. So I'm thrilled that Tristan is on board with turning some of my frozen eggs into embryos. Chloe received a lot of backlash from fans at the time, and they called her out for being a hypocrite and letting Tristan humiliate her. One Twitter user said how it's crazy that Chloe tried to ruin Jordan Woods' life and career because her own man cheated on her, and now she wants another child with that same man. The fans on social media all agreed that it was mind-boggling that Chloe wants to have another child with the guy that cheated on her multiple times, and one fan commented, the lengths a woman will go for an unworthy man. But now that another woman has come forward and exposed Tristan for cheating, will Chloe finally realize that he's no good? Well, she actually might because her mother, Chris, has apparently decided to get involved and put a stop to all this mess. 
On April 22nd, 23-year-old Instagram model Sydney Chase dropped a bombshell during her appearance on the No Jumper YouTube podcast and revealed she hooked up with Tristan on several occasions earlier this year. Sydney claimed she thought Tristan and Chloe weren't together at the time and said she stopped seeing him once she realized he wasn't single. I did not I, know he wasn't, he told me he was not in a relationship anymore, so I said okay. So and although Tristan called Sydney a liar and even threatened to sue her, the model is not backing down. In fact, Sydney has now hired high profile celebrity lawyer Gloria Allred to help her prove she wasn't lying about Tristan. And what did Chloe do? While Chloe didn't publicly comment on Tristan's latest cheating scandal, she did reportedly reach out to Sydney and asked her to have a private one on one conversation. The Shade Room recently shared screenshots allegedly taken on Sydney's iPhone, which shows two private messages from Chloe. The first reads, Hey Sydney, this is Chloe, while another says, I would appreciate if our conversation can remain confidential. The leaked screenshots caused even more backlash from fans who started trolling Chloe for having no self respect. One fan tweeted, Wait, so Tristan cheated again? Chloe is surprised and reached out to Sydney and told her to keep the convo confidential and she expected her to? Comedy. Another person added, This is why you never take back a cheater. Once a cheater, always a cheater. The fact Chloe is a rich and powerful woman sitting up here trying to keep a man who is worthless is sad at this point. And while Chloe still seems to be unsure about what to do with Tristan, her mom Chris has had enough of this back and forth. So how did Chris react to Tristan humiliating her daughter again? Last month, multiple outlets reported that Chris sent a peace offering to Jordan Woods, Kylie's former BFF who got banished from the family after Tristan kissed her. On Saturday, April 10th, Jordan shared two Instagram stories showing a gift she received from Chris a box of Chris and Chrissy Teigen's new line of safely cleaning products, together with a handwritten note and a bouquet of flowers. The fans then started speculating that the Kardashians were trying to make peace with Jordan after finally realizing they treated her horribly while they let Tristan get off easy. A source close to Chris, who recently spoke to The Sun, said, Chris told Chloe's cheating fiance, Tristan, to pack his bags. She's told Chloe not to be a doormat and get some self-respect. She's basically said, how many more final chances does Tristan get? As for Chloe, the insider said that she's humiliated again and it's not been the easiest time for her. According to the source, the rest of the Kardashian-Jenner family are backing Chris and telling Chloe that they'll support her through it, but she just feels that it's all hopeless. Apparently, Chloe had already started the IVF process before Sydney exposed Tristan for cheating, which makes the whole situation even more devastating for her. For Chloe, the big complication here is the fact that they were in the process of trying for a baby, the source explained, and already progressing the surrogate process after her fertility issues that she's been very open about in this series of the reality show. That's why she's still hanging on, the insider added. She thinks Tristan is an amazing father to True. However, Chris thinks enough is enough and has reportedly told her daughter that she's better off raising a baby on her own. As for the fans, they're all 100% backing Chris on this one and telling Chloe she should ditch Tristan for good. The fans are also convinced Chloe has some deep-rooted self-esteem and self-love issues because nothing else can explain the fact she's let Tristan publicly humiliate her so many times. And as many of the fans pointed out, the even bigger issue here is that Chloe is setting a wrong example for her daughter True. Loved Chloe until Tristan the cheater came into her life and gave her a baby, and she does the nonsense that a lot of women do. Stay for the kid, one fan tweeted, adding, You have to know your worth to be able to teach self-respect and love to your child. It's a cycle. Mom did it, so I will. The fans are now telling Chloe it's high time she give Tristan the boot because he'll never change no matter how many times she takes him back. Okay, Miss Chloe, Cleveland didn't give Tristan that many chances. Kick him to the curb already, one fan said. So now I want to know how you feel about Chris telling Chloe to ditch Tristan and raise the baby on her own. Do you think Chloe will finally come to her senses or will she once again take Tristan back? Let me know in the comments section down below.